Hey folks, it's Rich here, sat in the corner of my room as always, or, and with a hoodie on as always, although not a Puma one for a change. Anyway, this is super quick. My video from yesterday, day before, yesterday, day before, I don't know, <laughs> lost some plot, about the fact that I tried to make uh, more expensive guitars. And as a bedroom player, like me, uh, should you, is it worth it? Uh, I'm so grateful for all the responses. Wow, so many people have hopped on and spent time with some long messages about their experiences and their, and their, and their thoughts, which is absolutely awesome. And actually, you know, the whole point of my humble little channel with my iPhone SE and my wardrobe here and my seven hairs here <laughs> is just to talk about guitars for people who like guitars. So to, uh, yes, yeah, so to read all those comments and people are taking the time and trouble to do that and the new subscribers too, so nice of you, it's brilliant. And of course those comments, they should then uh, flash up to the, uh, to the other people who have commented on that. So we can all have a, a read of one another's experiences and, uh, and opinions. And I think the overriding opinion really is that there is a, there's a point, isn't there, where it, as a home player, it doesn't really become worth it to spend too much more money on a guitar. And, and and that's kind of what I think too, really. I love the idea of having, you know, one guitar to rule them all. <laughs> one one absolute beauty with amazing pickups. It does all the sounds and you look at it every day and you stroke it. You go, oh, this is my baby. And actually, this is my baby. And yeah, but I think unless you've really got money to burn, mind you, even if you do, having had 124 guitars, it's really hard to find one guitar that does everything. I don't think there really is, is there? So, but yeah, spending lots of money, hmm, that's not the thing to do. And, and people, a lot of people agree. Maybe, maybe, maybe the nice halfway point is that sort of £500-ish, uh, especially if you get something used for that, then you tend to get perhaps, you know, sort of nicer frets and uh, perhaps a bit better pickups or at least, well, I know it's subjective, but um, a bit better tuners, those kind of things. But who knows? Having said that, I have just bought another Harley Benton. I haven't bought one for a while, a Harley. <laughs> I'm picking it up later. It's a, a bit of a drive to go and get it, to be honest, but it'll be worth it. And I'm going to feature it probably tomorrow. And this is poignant because it's used and it's been heavily upgraded as well. So this will be a good exercise in trying to shop savvy. And you know the, uh, the guy who spent the money doing the bits and bobs to the guitar, he's the one who's uh, I guess, well, he's probably enjoyed doing it and enjoyed playing it, but lost out ultimately. So yes, so I shall feature that. But the point of this, I'm waffling. Stop waffling, Richard. <laughs> the point is, thank you. Thank you very much for all those comments. That's amazing. And and all the people, new people who have subscribed and the uh, all of my subscribers. It's uh, it's awesome. So thanks for being here. I hope you continue to enjoy it. And um, yes, new Harley Benton review and thoughts coming in the next day or two. Ta-ta for now.